Hello everyone. Today we are doing our lesson number five and this is about opinion essay. So in this lesson we are going to write an essay. So you will be able to write an opinion essay suggesting how to spend one million dollars. Okay, as we are linking this lesson to the previous one and in the previous one we did second con conditionals, right? That's why this is the topic of our today's lesson. Now, let's, before we start, try to brainstorm on few things. What could the government improve in, on in our city? And what are the biggest problems in our city? I would like you guys to think about these problems and then comment your opinions below. Okay, now if you had 1 million euros to spend but couldn't spend any of it on yourself, what would you do with it? Okay, write an essay and include three ideas. Give reasons for your choices and say what effect the money would have. Okay, now um, the amount of money in Kazakhstan in Tinge is like this. Uh, 462 millions 399,572 mm, to be fair I asked my husband this question uh, so if he had 1 million euros to spend but couldn't spend any of it on yourself what would he do and he said he would buy a present for me and this was really nice to hear yeah but let's hear from you guys uh, now think of three things you would spend the money on okay so you can now take notes uh, stop this video and then come back after you will have your answers done so you can say that it like this using second conditionals because these are all imaginary situations right so I'd give money to a charity which helps for example for the people who are uh, ill uh, I'd buy a present for my um, brother mother or etc mm. third one I'd give money to the people who need it so they could afford themselves a good a better life and etc etc so Please write your answers in your in the comments section. Here we can continue like this. So you need to write three ways of spending your money and think about the effects of the money would have. For example, if you will give it to the charity, you can write the effect like the like uh, so you for example want to uh, give it to improve the air quality mm, to invest it into the uh, science right so you will say the possible effect of this will be children will have fewer illness and people live longer and uh, the less money will be needed from the government for these reasons and the reasons for this choice because you love your city and we have this problem of air uh, quality etc etc so please write how many percent of the money you're going to give for one way and for another way how many person in percentage their effect they would do and the reasons why you decided like this okay this is the task for you to write down and send to me uh, or to my direct messages now uh, let's go to writing strategies so in your writing, guys, avoid starting too many sentences which repeat the same words, okay? Repeating same words is not good. So this shows a uh, lack of vocabulary and uh, the writing skills. That um, in, Instead, use a variety of expressions for introducing opinions. For example, like... It seems to me in my opinion and etc and for making additional points like moreover and furthermore etc we will I will give you more phrases like this in a further slides that's why keep keep up with me 
So use linking words, like in my opinion, in addition, etc. B. Start conditional sentences with the if clause or the main clause. So if conditionals are used for imaginary situations, here you're talking about imaginary situations, I would give it, etc. So use second conditionals in your essay. It is a must. Uh, the third one is using concession clauses. Concession means the sentences that have uh, the words, the phrases like although, even though, this means uh, but, but in a better and a more uh, sophisticated way. So this is like um, counting the minuses and pluses, the advantages and disadvantages at the beginning or the end of a sentence. So you can use all the sentences uh, to make your essay richer and look uh, upgraded, okay? You need to use present simple for fact. Use but and although for given opposite ideas. Okay. Now an outline. How should an essay look like? So it should have three parts, right? If you remember, the first one is an introduction where you should write a thesis statement and reasons for your opinion. Uh, the main body should, you can write one, two or more uh, paragraphs in this uh, part. So you need to break it in several paragraphs where you provide arguments and supporting examples uh, and facts. Okay, arguments and examples. Examples from real life, for example. Okay, the reasons, when you state your reasons. A conclusion must be short but really nice and restate the main thesis and summarize central points of the essay, okay? The main thesis is meant in introduction and summarizing central points uh, that are mentioned in the main body. All right, now let's do some useful phrases for giving opinions. Yeah, usually we say in my opinion, but we can also say I believe that in my mind. It seems to me that and for opposing ideas, opinions, we can say although, uh, idea you disagree with, so you can say although I don't you know, think that the air would improve with this money, idea you agree with is that, but at least I will make some contribution to this, okay? Uh, useful phrases for giving reasons why you're doing this. My main reason is or another reason is, one reason for making this is, many people say believe that because, since, because of, or due to this fact, etc. etc. Next is the phrases about adding ideas. What is more, moreover, furthermore, in addition, apart from, are all the uh, synonyms. Firstly, secondly, uh, thirdly, and lastly, finally, and first of all, uh, instead of firstly, etc. You can use this when you are continuing the same idea, okay? And uh, the last one is uh, the phrases for concluding the essay. You can say to sum up, to conclude, in conclusion, it is clear that, in short, on the whole, all in all, uh, okay, here, guys, sorry, it should be like this. On the whole is a separate phrase and all in all is a separate phrase. Uh, right now, for the homework, an essay using your plan from exercise 5, go to your book, find exercise 5, include an introduction and a conclusion like in modal exercise 2, read this article, this essay, and... Uh, use it as a model, okay? So then there you need to say what you would spend half the money on, 50%. Choose two more ways to spend the rest. Um, explain what effect the money would have and the reasons why you're choosing those ways to spend those money, okay? I believe in you and see you in the video chat.